Okay, we're ready to start our competition meeting. Uh, we don't have any business on competition nights, so there's no business. Uh, but we do have Valerie going to announce the speaker for next month. So here's Valerie. All right. Jen um, our speaker next month is Jennifer Dooley. She was recommended by Deborah. And her topic is my multiple exposure evolution. And the description is on the website. So I'm going to read it really fast. So if you miss it, just check out the website. He says, plus I don't have my glasses on. I have always liked and enjoyed creative photography in particular, like to abstract things, all things. Although I do tend to favor geographic shapes and squiggles. After many years, I had accumulated a quite a collection of reflection abstracts. I liked doing them so much that I didn't want to stop creating them, but at the same time, I wanted to make them different. They all started to look the same after a while, so I started to combine them. Years later, I was attending street photography workshops and was encouraged to shoot differently, quote unquote. I was bored with the shots I was getting until I realized that my camera had the ability to ghost multiple in-camera images I started playing with, with a graphic subjects and movement of people and just fell in love. I started doing this on every pho photography shoot. And as I continued to expand my photography skills, I started to play with more sophisticated ways of combining images to create more ethereal, artistic, and sometimes unrealistic interpretations of the world I live in. In my program, I will show you my e evolution of photography, photographic tricks, and hopefully inspire you to try them for yourselves. So if you're not sure if your camera can do that, um, look at your manual and try. I figured out mine can do that and it is a lot of fun. So hope to see you next month. Thank you. All right, thank you, Valerie. Uh, Lynn, you have the, the floor. Okay, so tonight's competition is winter. And um, our judge tonight is Susan Puder, and I'm going to read her bio. Susan has been a serious nature and wildlife photographer for over 30 years using Nikon equipment. Her work has been exhibited in New York City and throughout New Jersey, winning many photo competitions, including the New Jersey Federation of Camera Clubs, Tops in New Jersey. Her work was recently displayed in the New Jersey Photography Forum 25 year retrospective at the Trenton City Museum and the Watchung Arts Center. She's a multiple published field contributor to Nature Photographer Magazine. She is both a judge and presenter for the New Jersey Federation of Camera Clubs. Susan is a dedicated environmentalist who supports the preservation of open lands and wildlife. As an avid birder, she, she started the Southern Ocean Birding Group and is vice president of the Friends of Edwin B. Forsyth National Wildlife Refuge. New Jersey Birds and Beyond is her first published book. Her work can be viewed at her website, www.eaglecreekphotos.com. And um, Susan also wanted me to uh, mention that the, there's, I'm going to actually let Susan tell you about it. The photo contest, the Edwin B. Forsyth uh, photography contest that they have every year is coming up. So, um, hi, Susan, welcome. And I'm just trying to get back to Zoom. Okay, here I am. Oh, okay, here it is. It's right on the screen. So uh, I guess you can go to uh, the friends of foresight.org to if you want to uh, enter into the contest. So hi, Susan. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, we're the Friends of Forsyth is celebrating our 25th uh, year anniversary, and this is I think we started this in 2019, uh, just before COVID. Uh, so uh, the prospectus is on our website, which is friendsofforsyth.org. 
And you have until, I think it's August 7th, uh, the competitions are, uh, uh, you can enter un into that uh, then. Uh, and there are uh, cash awards and Lynn has won some awards over the years. I know her her pictures are usually in, in the top top group that uh, are selected. Um, I we have a few some. other people too, Susan here, Susan Little, and uh, a couple other people okay. in our group. Yeah, so I'm also not vice president of Friends of Forsyth anymore. I'm acting president. Oh, congratulations. May it well. <laughs> I'm not so it. sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm a sure job I did not seek, and hopefully I can uh, get the board, uh, get somebody else in the position before the end of the year. Anyway, well, thank you all for having me back. I was here a couple of times before COVID. I know we had something on toys, I think was one of the yeah. categories we had. At one, and somebody had some sort of scary clown, you know. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that sticks in my mind, you know. <laughs> so this is a uh, winter, right? Okay. And Matt should show your is going to show your three photos. Oh yeah, I just put these together quickly. This is down at Barnegat Light after one of the uh, big storms we had uh, Oh, when I first moved in. So it was probably 2008 or something like that. And it was all ice covered. It was it was really slick getting out there. Um, mm. So that depicts winter. And then, of course, you don't need to have, you know, uh, you can do close-ups and get... Uh, a feel you know we live in the pine barrens at least i live in the pine barrens and uh you know just having a, a nice pine branch with snow on it we didn't have one inch of snow last year so you know these are all pretty old and this is in brookville that's a little tiny church in brookville which is a little town uh, i think it's part of ware town but it's between ware town and barnegat and there's just, you know, there's a couple of, maybe a dozen people that live in the town, but it, it was uh, really pretty in the snow with the nice pine tree in front of it. So just an example. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to start our competition here. Uh, we're going to start with group one. Uh, we have eight images. I will show you the images real quick, and then we'll go and score them. All right, ready, Lynn? Ready. This is group one. Likely late for work. Uh, I hope I didn't. I'm glad I don't have to shovel that out. Um, snow is so hard to get because of the uh, the uh, the contrast. You know, you lose a little bit, a little bit of a glare on the, on the front of that. Um, uh, give that a seven. Japanese maple in winter. This is very nice. It, um, you know, you you know what your center of attention is. This the uh, center of interest is the tree in front. You have the whole the entire tree. There, it's a little bit centered, um, but it's a nice shot. You handled the snow pretty good. Um, seeing just a, uh, it gives you a lot of interest, and in it 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 really. Uh, displays the the title winter I, I when i was first fast by i was getting a chill <laughs> so um uh, an eight and these are our beginners right mm -hmm. yeah, yes very nice to be done. 
Morning snow in Bryce National Park. Well, you can tell it's Bryce because of the hoodoos. I think it's a little bit oversaturated on the reds. And I'm not, I think you could probably control that. I mean, everybody uses post processing these days for digital. Um, I like the composition, um, gives you the path through the middle of the hoodoos and into some of the wooded areas that's, that are part of uh, Bryce. Um, but I just think the saturation on the red is a little bit um, over the top, a little bit. So maybe I would tone that down a little bit. Um, so a seven. The Christmas Express. Okay, I like the action of it. I'm I'm thinking it's coming right at you. Uh, well done that the front end, the front of the the engine is nice and sharp, and then you have the a little bit of motion uh, going to the back, the caboose. You see everything is uh, nice centered, uh, not centered, but uh. It gives you the center of attention. Uh, uh, a little bit overcast, which helps with the snow. Uh, I'm not sure I like the car in the lower, but um, yeah, this is uh, very nice. It really uh, shows well the, the topic. Uh, so an N8. Snowy path. Okay. Well, it's a little bit centered um, for the, the path that's melted and sort of lose some of the detail on the trees that are on either side of it. Uh, I think on the overcast day also helps with the snow. Uh, they don't get the glare, the reflection off the snow, uh, a seven. Snowing. I like the subject. Um, the two empty benches um, give you the feeling of remoteness and that it's cold. Nobody wants to be out there. Uh, the snow, the trees uh, dominate. The the uh, the picture, uh, but everything the the benches are sort of off the side, so they're not centered. Uh, this is a well done. A uh, little bit. Oh, I, I it's almost like a black and white would be really good for this, I think. But also, I'll give that an also an eight. I think it does the topic well. A walk in the snow before dawn. Okay, I'm thinking that, I don't know what that bright light at the top is. And you also cut off some of the tree branches, which I think would be helpful for the rest of the the image. Um, but my, my eye is pulled directly to that light at the top. And I don't know if that's a street light or a, I don't think it's the sun coming up, um, but it sort of really overpowers the rest of the tree, which is nicely uh, covered in snow, um, but I find that a little bit distracting. So a seven. The look of winter. Okay, the center of interest is good. I like it, how you handle the shadows as well. I think I would like to see, um, if possible, I would like the, the top of the tree should be more tack sharp. That the, the, the first tree is your center of interest and that looks a little bit blurry to me and I don't know if that's just the projection. Um, I do like how you've, Handled the light, but the blue sky looks really nice. Um, I think a seven. 
And this is really interesting. I like this one. Oh, this is a, this is not one of them. Not one of them. Sorry. <laughs> Does fit the topic, maybe. All right. All right. Uh, we have two eights. I think three eights. I need a first, second, and third. I'll show you the thumbnails. All right. This is image one. Hmm. Image two. And the third image, I can go back to whatever one you want to look at. Uh, well, I think the uh, first tree will be first. Go back to so yeah, that one. one. Yeah, I think All that's right. really well first done. Uh, the train would be second. Okay. And the, uh, the two snowy benches would be third. Third. And then uh, there's five sevens. I need one, one for an HM. So this is image one. Okay. Image two. Image three. Four. And the fifth. Well, I think the, this one will be the HM. The tree right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we'll review this contest. So I move some windows out of my way so I can see. Honorable mention, The Look of Winter, John Del Vecchio. Congratulations, John. Third place. Snowing, Karen Zeller. Congratulations, Karen. Second place. The Christmas Express, John Del Vecchio. Congratulations, John. All right, we're going to move on to group two. We have... Six images. We'll go through them real quick. All right. And I need a first, second, third out of these. Okay. Encased in ice. Well, this is very creative. Um... I like the colors. It uh, fills the full screen. Uh, the whites were handled nicely the, with the ice. Um, I give that a nine. I think there's not much you could do to improve that. Very nicely done. Time time. I didn't hear that. Chime time. Huh? Chimes. Oh, chimes. All right. I'm sorry. I, I have hearing issues. All right. No, I literally do. But Oh. Well, I have cats, and they would never go out in the snow. So you've already... Uh, I would tight a little tighter um, uh, focus on that to eliminate the street and the... the uh, it was that it looks like a garbage can back there in the car. I think if you just had a tighter crop on it with just the chimes and the cats, um, would be a lot uh, more interesting. This has got a little bit too much distractions in it. I mean, you have a water tank in the back um, where the, the center of focus is actually the cats and the chimes. So all the other um items in the in the photograph are sort of distracting to that so um i just go with a, a seven on that because i like cat, i'm a cat person so. <laughs> the first snowfall all right i i, I like the uh the getting the snow the long exposure getting the snow falling <laughs> that, that's very creative um I think doing that though, you if you had it on a tripod, 
the tree in the back would be tack sharp with the with the uh, stove falling. I mean, the composition is really nice. Uh, and the creativeness that went into trying to get the long exposure for the snow is uh, really interesting. But I think having the tree out of focus or soft, I think distracts and it would really make it really pop to have that pack sharp and then the snow as it is. So I think a tripod would have helped a lot on that. So um, for the creativity and the idea of, of doing this, the uh, long, longer exposure to get the snowflakes falling, um, a seven. Waiting for spring. Well, it's a nice subject matter. Um, you have the the uh, the bench is off center, which is nice. You get the uh, frozen pond behind it. Um, there's nothing else too distracting. The center of attention is the is the uh, bench. Um, the coloration is uh, okay. It must have been on a cloudy day. So then, um, but it it seems a little bit more of a snapshot type of thing. Uh, a, a seven. Look, Ma, no skates. This is really clever, and this is really funny. It really tells a story of the uh, the goose, you know, that endangered species, Canada geese, <laughs> coming in for a landing, and uh, just very humorous. Tells a story. Uh, you, got, you got it at a really good moment when he has his wings out, trying to stop and, and starting sli sliding by. Uh, this will get an eight. Good storytelling. Winter skate. Okay, interesting doing the angle. You're down, down below shooting up. Uh, the one thing in that's color with Jeanette is the, I think it's a, some sort of traffic sign, but it sort of um, gives you an idea that you're right by a road, uh, sort of doing the vignetting on the sides um, was a little bit interesting because it uh, makes your subject more stand out for the, uh, the, uh, the trees. Um, I think from the angle, it's a little bit creative. Um, we'll do an eight on that. This is still very good. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's the best it to show. It's like the inside of my drink. You know? <laughs> All right. So we have a uh, one nine. So we know what that's going to be. Take care of that. Second and third. Now we got two eights. So I need a second and third. This is one image. Oh, the, the goose is second. This is the second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goose is second. Trees are third. And that's all I need. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll review this contest. <clears throat> third place. Winterscape, Walter Blitz. Congratulations, Walter. Second place. Look, Ma, no skates. Pat Cruzel. Congratulations, Pat. Very nice. All right. We're moving on to group three. Your goose. Should have used this. <laughs> Did you pay him? <laughs> oh, okay. Goose are so hard to find around here. 
All right, moving on to, this is group three. We have uh, 24 images. So we need first, second, third, four HMs. And we'll go through them real quick. All right, group three. This is going to be tough. Fresh coat of snow. I like the sky. You must have been, I don't know how you got that far up on a, to get the ball field and the snow in the parking lot, which is interesting. I like the, uh, the curvy road on this going in, leading you in. And I love the sky. Um, you know, we had that pale purplish pink sky, which lends the the color of the trees is sort of the pinkish color too. So you can tell that's, uh, uh, I like the creativity of it. I mean, I wouldn't think to get up high. I don't know how, how, how that happened, but um, uh, an eight. Ice sculptures. Mm. <clears throat> well, it's, um, there's no real center of interest in here. It's all uh, the same icicles. Um, there's no coloration difference. Um, does depict winter, uh, a seven. Snow, snowy shimmer, except there's a, uh. Yeah, this one actually has to be DQ'd because it's got a yeah. watermark on it. Right. Unfortunately. So, so yes. But you can still score, or you can still uh, judge it. It's just going to get a low score. Okay. Um, I would. I. I like the shimmer. That's just you look at it a little bit. You can see the shimmering in the in the in the vertical lines in there. And you know, if I was in Photoshop or something, I think I would have darkened them a little bit to make them a little bit more pronounced. Um, they're probably a reflection of a tree or trees or something. Um, and it would have given a little bit more coloration in some of the trees. Some are like a more reddish color, some are a little bit more bluish color or blackish color. Um, I would have just tried to darken that slightly to get a little bit more contrast. Ice. Yeah, somebody took a trip to Antarctica, it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful sky, beautiful reflection. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shot. Probably a lot of, I don't know how much uh, post-processing you did with it, but it, it just came out. Um, just a beautiful shot, a nine. Loving his craft. Okay, I don't know if you shot this through a window or you were there. Um, the subject is interesting because you're, you're watching him and I can see the spray of the ice going off. I think having either the artist or the, uh, the sculpture a little more tack sharp would have helped a lot. Uh, interesting uh, subject and creative because you know you're, you're watching somebody else make art but you're you're seeing the motion of it um i would just make it a little bit more sharp on the sculpture uh seven watch the icicles grow okay um not a scene from last year 
obviously we haven't had we had snow what a couple of years ago i guess um you know it's just the side of your house with icicles uh a little bit blown out in the top corner um not sure this would be uh, I have to go with the six because it's more of a sh snapshot to me. Frozen branches. Again, this is nicely done. Uh, got the ice forming on the branches. You have a little bit of color from the seeds that were left over from summer. Um, nice pattern, texture to it. Uh, you can see almost the ice crystals in some of the ones on the bottom. Uh, nicely done. That would be an eight. Afternoon on the lake. Oh, I wonder how long ago this was. I mean, <laughs> I'm seeing that sled over there. It looks really a long time ago. Um, and I don't think we've had anything cold enough to freeze a lake for the, all those many people recently. Uh, a nice period picture, uh, even if you took it recently, it gives you the sense of, uh, um, you know, people hanging out, doing ice figure, ice skating on lakes. I mean, people don't do that anymore. Uh, a nice delineation between the ice and the trees in the, in the background. Uh, people look like they're enjoying themselves. Um, seven. Winter's thaw. Okay, this is sort of an almost abstract, which I like. I like the color, whatever the red flowers were, they're melting and still with the ice on them. A nice uh, creative way of, of getting the, of looking at it. Uh, you know, it's not right on. You can see the, the, uh, the tree branch or the bush branch going down. Um, you can also make, to me, it looks like a duckling with the, the be on the right. And then there's a little wing coming out and stuff. So you can, um, it's a nice abstract. So uh, I'll give that an eight. Can you see that? I was gonna bring my pointer and I didn't know what, what kind of screen you had because sometimes you have TV screens, you can't use it. Dykeman Street Blue Man. Okay. I see that. This is nice. I don't know how they did the coloration. I don't know if they let dye through there or a few added colors. Looks like somebody painted some of the ice. Um, but a nice depiction of it. Very colorful. <clears throat> you can see the Blue Man. Uh, I don't know if that was just the way the ice formed or if that's there permanently. I don't know. Um, uh, an eight. Snow angel, snow leaf abstract. <laughs> what is this? Oh. 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 Can we go back to the last one? <laughs> no, huh? Well, maybe they can. <clears throat> um, very creative. Uh, a little bit centered, but I like the uh, the composition is really nice. It um, it took creativity to get that in there and to uh, depict snow and it's your subject. Right there, um, Nate. You know, a lot of people wouldn't think of doing a, a leaf like that, so it showed a nice creativity on the maker. Foggy morning. Nice, very nice reflection. Good time of day to get that. I'm not sure that I like this much of the, I would have pulled a little bit tighter. I know you're trying to get the, um, 
all the trees in. I'm not sure all this space is positive. Uh, I think a little bit different angle. Maybe if you're out in the water. <laughs> <laughs> this part is really beautiful. Very serene. Uh, um, <clears throat> uh, the fog in the background, uh, reflection, an eight, an eight. Not perfect, but good. Oh, Junko Birdie. Okay, that's our uh, dark eyed Junkos. We only get them in the winter. This is sitting on a, on a tree with ice on it. Um, the competition, uh, the composition's a little bit static because the birds smack in the middle. I think I would have moved or cropped it maybe a little bit differently so the bird wasn't exactly in the center of it. I like how he's got a little bit of ice on his uh, between above his beak and by his eye. Um, seven. <clears throat> Barn on the creek in winter. This is very nice. Uh, just a beautiful shot. Uh, I think it was smart to make it into a black and white. I guess that's what you did. Uh, the barn is uh, really adds a lot of character to it. It has a, a beautiful composition uh, with the, the clouds going by, the snow in the fields, the bare trees, the stream. Um, uh, nine, easily. Very nice. The sound of silence. I like the idea of it. I'm not sure it made. I. I'm. I'm thinking. This is sort of centered here where your where your land comes in and you're I think having a little bit more reflection might have helped a little bit. Uh and maybe a little bit more contrast. Uh seven. Early morning. All right, we're back to Antarctica. Um Again, the reflection is right smack in the middle. Uh, not as interesting, in it, but you have a lot of negative. I mean, there's, I know this is shadow from the ice, um, but it becomes almost matches the sky and becomes sort of negative or of space here. So you lose some of the contrast in the iceberg. <clears throat> this is something that Titanic didn't want to see. <clears throat> Not that's been in the news lately. Um, uh, uh, seven. Ah. Gaining fun. It is fun. That's a really clever. Uh, of course, I'm sure the maker did not put the people in the shark skating, but he caught it at the right moment with the shark coming by, the people on the skates. Um, just a fun photograph. Uh, not too much thought into it, but it really, uh, it's its just fun. It makes you, it makes you laugh. As soon as you see it, you're going to chuckle. So an eight. Subpar plowing job. <laughs> it looks like my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, very centered. Uh, no, just walking out into the, walking out into the middle of the street, taking a picture of the snow plowed work that you pay for in your HOA, uh, 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 a seven, you know, there's not much there. Ice reflections in trees. Hmm. I like the creativity and the composition. I think the the star, the sun is a little bit bright, so it distracts you from the the ice in the tree, uh, and then you get the uh, the other thing. I don't know what it's called. 
has a name down here. Um, that's the trouble with shooting in the sun. Uh, seven. Three's company. It is. Uh, if the maker made the snowman, it would have been even better uh, and put a camera in one of their hands. <laughs> uh, this is a recording of uh, probably somebody in your neighborhood. The kids came out and, and made the snowman. So you're just recording something that happened. Um, it's cute. I like the, uh, uh, she's got having a bad hair day on the right. <laughs> uh, a seven. Iced threes. Okay, again, this is a nice composition, very serene. Um, looks like the snow hasn't been trampled upon, probably just after a snowfall. Um, nice composition, a little bit centered on the one in the center, but I think having the, the bush behind, below it um, eliminates some of that issues. Uh, probably an eight. Henry Street after the blizzard. Uh, this is, looks like Manhattan, or I guess it could be Philadelphia. Um, oh, people are walking out with shovels. That was a time when kids would come around. You could pay them a, you know, a couple of bucks, and they'd shovel your walkway. Um, I like how the trees over are all over the tops of the uh, the, of the trees cover the street. Uh, a very nice historical kind of picture. Uh, with the, the cars are all sh blocked in. Um, I don't know. It, it appeals to me for some reason. I don't know, maybe because I worked in New York or something, but uh, an eight. I like the person at the top of the, you know, way out in the, out in the distance. You can see and it leads back. So you have a leading line it's bringing you into uh, the center of the picture, which would be there. You know, nice. That was, it's nice. I like it. Winterscape, ice scrape phenomenon. I've never seen anything like that. I love the reflection. Um, very creative. You had to be there at the right moments to get these while they're still frozen. Uh, and around sunset, it looks like, or early morning. Um, it was very good to make it into a vertical. I don't. I think it would have lost a lot if it was a horizontal. Uh, very creative. Uh, a nice center of attention brings you, and the, and the circles progressively bring you right out to the reflection in the back. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, eight and a half. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I think the only thing that I just having the ice here, I think if it would have been cropped off a little bit and just had the circles going out. Um, so I have to go with an eight because it's not exactly perfect, but it's really lovely, really lovely shot. Reflections. Okay, this looks like it's out west. Uh, reflections of Rockies or the Sierras. Nice reflection, a little bit centered. I think if you had cropped out this, this, uh, the, I don't think that adds much to it. And a little bit more reflection and maybe even a little bit more sky. So this, isn't centered right here. Um, a, a seven. All right. We have two nines. I need a first and second out of those. This is image number one and image number two. I don't know. You can't have two firsts, huh? 
Definitely can't have two firsts. Well, this you were probably on a ship. So it's where the ship was that allowed you to get this photograph. I mean, it, excellent. I mean, they're both excellent. Um, I can't think of anything to, any negative thing to say about either of them. Um, oh, man. Let's go back to the other one. Oh, man. I'm probably going to regret, uh, I don't know. I always second guess myself, but I'm going to go with the uh, the barn is number one. Barn is number one. Okay. Very hard. Uh, either one. This is toss up, two. throw up a coin. Uh, they're both beautiful. If anybody needs her cars out in the parking lot. I didn't do that. I said your car's in the parking lot if anybody oh, needs okay. it. All right, so there's a 10 number eight, and um, I need third and four, HM. third and four. Yep. So I will go through them all. This is image one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, the ninth one, and last but not least, number 10. All right, ten, number 10 is going to be uh, third place. All right. And then I need four HMs. I'll go back through them backwards now, this way, mm -hmm. if you want to call out every, any of them. Uh, the shark is an HM. I just think it's it tells a story. It's funny. Um, I like the leaf. The abstract leaf would be uh, an HM. All right. Um, hmm. This is an HM. This one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, who thinks... Maybe it was a, a a drone. I don't know. Maybe, but still. Two, I need one more HM. Three. Yeah, I need uh, one more. I think one, two. I think three. Yeah, I need one more. Another another hard decision. Mm -hmm. uh, I think because it tells such a story, I'm going to go with the uh, the snowfall in the city with the... Um... This one? No, keep going. Yeah, that one. Okay. Because it tells a story, and I like photographs that tell stories. Um, so. so we have one, two, three, four, third place. Okay. You We're certainly gonna... don't make my job easy, people. Uh, it only gets harder after this. We're going to review this contest. And then after that, we're going to take a quick little five-minute break here at the library. Honorable mention, Fresh Coat of Snow, Matthew Rank. Congratulations, Matt. How did you get it? A uh, drum. <laughs> Snow Angel, Snow Leaf Abstract, Mary Ann Martin. Congratulations, Mary Ann. Skating Fun, Ed Hornica. Congratulations, Ed. Henry Street After the Blizzard, Mike Padwick. Congratulations, Michael. Third place. Winterscape, Ice Crepe Phenomenon, Marianne Mort. Congratulations, Marianne. Second place, Ice, Fred Appellian. Congratulations, Fred. 
All right, we're going to take a quick five minute break here and then we'll have group four and the best of show. Anybody that wants to unmute yourselves, you can do so now. And then group four doesn't get to see the recording. <laughs> Are you ready, Lynn? Ready. All right. We have uh, the salon group. We have 12 images. So I need a first, second, third, two HMs. And we'll go through them real quick. All right, this is Salon Group, 12 images. It's cold up there. Okay, I can s tell because of the sky that's uh, up here that this is not a black and white picture, uh, photograph image. Um, I like the composition. I like the center of attention. I think it's a slightly overexposed. Um, I know you you got detail in the um, in the forestry here, which takes about a third of the picture. But I think this area could be a little bit darker and would come out with a better contrast and show a little bit more of the detail in the rocks if it was a little bit uh, um, a little bit uh, exposure down a little bit. So a seven. Frozen Lake. Okay, I like the composition, the center of it uh, pulls you in from up here, uh, up in the right uh, left hand corner, pulls you down into the different ice flows and the ice shapes. Um, that there's a little bit of creativity on your part uh, to, to see that with your eye, um, but then it goes. To, it doesn't uh, bring you to anything except more ice. Uh, a seven. Looking out at a snowy cornfield. Mm. Well, it tells a story, that's for sure. And I like the composition. I think his jacket's a little bit dark, um, a little bit more detail in, in the uh, gentleman, the farmer's jacket. But seeing his, uh, seeing his farm with the snow and the crop has been cut down uh, tells a nice story. The exposure is nice on the sky. Uh, the lighting is pretty good. As I said, I would bring a little bit more light in here, but that could be how it's... Uh, projected. I know some things get lost with that. So uh, an eight. Born in early winter. Again, uh, lovely composition, lovely exposure, a little bit bright on the side of the barn. Uh, but other than that, uh, not the wheat field or the grasses are not uh, centered. Um, tells a story of a barn that's probably a little bit derelict, not been taken care of. Uh, great exposure on that. And there could even be a bird sitting right there, it looks like. Uh, at, eight, at eight. Winter activities in Florida. Well, I was going to say, I don't, they don't play polo in New Jersey. <laughs> um, I'm not sure this reflects 
the topic of winter. I mean, you could say it's winter in, in uh, Florida, and I guess they do do it in the colder weather. But, um, you know, it's, it's very well done with the horse in action. All four hoofs are off the ground. Uh, the the rider, the polo player is uh, pretty sharp. The horse is very sharp being pulled up and he's got the mallet. I mean, it's very well done. I'm not sure, you know, with the palm trees and everything, it really uh, uh, hits the category. Um, but because it's so well done with the action, I will give it an eight, but I'm, I'm, I'm leery about that. Hey, hey, hey for us. Okay, this is in uh, Iceland. Uh, you got that milky look on the uh, slower uh, exposure on the waterfall, which I always like. Um, nice exposure on the snow and the rocks and the location of the waterfall, uh, an eight. I see patch. Okay, I like these abstracts with the ice is really good. Here I see a mouth open, so it looks like a little alligator. You know, this could be the. You know, this is like a, a raw shot test for everybody. Now, what do you see in there? <laughs> um, exposure very well done. The uh, the abstractness is uh, is very clever and creative. Uh, the center of attention is in this area, but you also have a nice uh, leading out. To this is this is probably what the alligator is going to eat over here. Uh, I'll give that an, also an eight. Fire and ice. Okay. Again, it must be Iceland, maybe. I don't know. Another abstract. I guess I guess you're looking down, and this could be lava, maybe. Uh, all this is really interesting here. Uh, this is a little bit of uh, sp negative space, not really adding to the picture, but um, I like the exposure. It brings you down and takes you away, and then you get all this extra. Uh, light area, a um, little bit of trees looking down on this area, uh, an eight. A snowy winter's day. Mm, this is really nice too. Um, they have leading lines that bring you in. The center of your uh, center of attention or interest is right with the trees, it's not centered. You have great uh, contrast with the clouds. Um, the exposure is just perfect. Uh, a nine. Happy snowman. Okay, well, it's nice that you have everything in focus from the from the first snowman to the back. Um, You know, the coloration, the exposure is really good. He's not blown out at all. Um, mm, seven. No fit for winter. Okay, this makes me fit, feel like fall. It just needs a little bit of tightening up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the house, not the picture. Uh, uh, I don't get the feeling for winter in this. It's really dilapidated. Um, a seven. Still cool. Okay, this has got to be Yellowstone, I would imagine, or it could be Iceland. Um, there's a cold area. You can see that there's ice around the uh, geyser. Um, people standing over here, uh, nice exposure on it. You, your sun is over here. It's really nice exposure. You do have some detail in the back of the geyser. Uh, it's not centered. Uh, an eight. 
12. That was All 12 right. already? More? That was 12. So we have a one nine, so that's going to be our first place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's that is outstanding. And then we have seven eights, so we need a second, third, two HMs. And how many eights do I have? There's seven. seven. Okay, so this is number one, two, three. Four, five, six, and the seventh. So the barn will be second place. Barn will be second place. This barn? This barn, yeah. Okay, second place. Yes, that's also very, very lovely. Very moody, um, really Really nice. Uh, this will be an HM. HM. And you need a third place. Yes. Uh, let me go with the abstract. Which one? The third. <laughs> this one this, or this, this one? one? This one. The alligator the one? White. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The icy patch with the alligator. All right. Or it could be a, you know, a lizard. Could be a something. lot of things. Mm -hmm. Right, so I need two HMs. Uh, one more HM. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so we have this image, this image, this image. No, that's third place. Yeah. Uh, do the um, the Iceland uh, waterfall is an HM. This one. Yeah. All right. Because between that one and the guys are very close, and their and their talent and their beauty. Third. Okay. We'll review this contest and then you have one more task after that. And that's going to be the best of show. Looking out at a snowy cornfield in Badwick. Hal how Hayfoss, Robert Zerfla. Congratulations, Robert. Third place. I see Pat, Sue Fielder. Congratulations, Sue. Second place. Born in early winter, Debbie Aniano. Congratulations, Debbie. All right, give me a minute and I'll put together the best of show. All right. So here we have the best of show. I will show you the four first place images, mm. and we need one. So this is image number one. This is image number two. Mm. Image number three. Mm. And image number four. And I can go back to anyone you want to see further or go back well, they're through all, all lovely. I congratulate everyone who's uh, 
images up there. Um, this is really tough. No pressure. No. No. There, there seems to be a theme I keep, uh, I seem to be on with trees and uh, snow and Oh. oh, very nice. Even the uh, Japanese maple is very nice. I think that's some of the beginners. So they have uh, they have a good future ahead of them. Uh, Uh, can you run through them one more time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I'm going to go with this one. The this one here? Yeah. Snowy. I think that's snow. got all the elements. The exposure is wonderful. It tells a story of bleakness and the harshness of winter. Uh, the composition is lovely. Um, it could have been any of the four, actually. Uh, you know, but my job is to pick one. So I will go with that one with the the trees in the uh, in the field. Excellent. What color was your car again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to review this contest. Japanese maple in winter. Karen Zeller. Very nice, Karen. Congratulations. And she's here, so she's going to come up and tell us about it. Uh, well, I was glad I was able to uh, get this tree because I went back to the park where I took the picture. And unfortunately, this year, they chopped it down. <laughs> it died. Oh. Yeah, so um, I actually have pictures of this tree like in every season. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. And case denies, Rich Polk. Congratulations, Rich. Rich, come on up here. Tell us about your image that probably wasn't taken this year. <laughs> Remember John Del Vecchio and a friend of mine from Australia and I were out shooting trains along the Hudson near Bear Mountain. And uh, between trains, the sun hit these real nicely, so I snapped it. Nice, Rich. Born on the creek in winter, Wendy Sasson. Congratulations, Wendy. Yeah, Wendy's in Ireland, so she can't tell us about it. Oh. And she's not on Zoom, so. All right. Best of show. A snowy winter's day, Lynn Padway. So I've taken these trees in tell every season. Lynn. Okay, I've taken these trees in every single season, but I love to take them in winter. And um, they're in Cranberry. And as a matter of fact, now there's only three of them. Something happened to the tree on the left. I have no idea what, but it's no longer there. So it looks much nicer with the the uh, you know, all the trees. That's it. I just took it on a winter. I think it was a blizzard or something that day. Very nice, Lynn. Thank you. All right, that concludes our competition for winter.
our next competition is yes <laughs> i think the next competition is night photography so we need some night photos hopefully i uh, want to thank susan for coming out and judging and thank everybody for coming out we're going to pack up anybody that wants to unmute themselves can in a second here as soon as i find the button susan thank you thank you so much for coming all the way up Thank you.